Are you all ready for the crazy new update to Photoshop 2023 May update that has just been released to Photoshop? This one is an absolute game changer. This is going to change everything and anything that you've ever done in Photoshop because you can now use the text to image prompts. And yes, you can use AI to modify and change your images. And honestly, the possibilities are absolutely endless. Now, currently this is only in the beta version of Photoshop. So you will need to open up the Creative Cloud go into the apps and go down to beta apps and install Photoshop beta in order to be able to use this. And then once you've done that from here, we're going to go ahead and get ourselves either the normal rectangular tool or we can use the lasso tool. And you just want to get yourself a selection of where you want the object to be. We would get ourselves a selection and you can click on the generative fill feature right here. Now in here, this is going to give you the prompt and all you need to do is type in what you want it to include. So let's say, for example, we want a T-Rex roaring and we want it to be hyper realistic. You can then go ahead and click on generate. And what this will do is, of course, it will fill in this area with a T-Rex roaring. And as you can see, it has now added a T-Rex in the background. Now, this one doesn't quite look as great. The eye and the teeth are definitely not up to par, especially when it comes to things like this. But like I said, it is in the beta version. It is in its early stages. We can also have a look through and see what else it's created. So you can see this one isn't too bad. The body's missing. But the last one isn't too bad. It kind of looks like it's flying. And we can always work with this. If we wanted to, we can also open up the properties and you have all your images right here. If you want to have a look through each and every one, you can also change the current hairstyle or the way a person looks. So for example, if you wanted to, you can use the lasso tool. You can get yourself a selection around the hair and we're going to tell the AI that we want it right about here. And then from here, we can go ahead and type in that we want, let's say a black Afro. Go ahead and click on generate. And then this will now change the hairstyle of this person right here. And as you can see, it's just added a Afro in a few seconds. And that actually does look pretty normal. It looks pretty realistic and it's even got the little headband thing right here. We can have a look at the other ones and see this one is actually very funky looking. This one definitely looks cool. And we also have this one right here, which this one would most likely match this type of image right here. I mean, we can even give it a challenge and we can try to remove the glasses from here and let's see how good of a job it can do. We're going to see if we can remove the sunglasses. Click on generate and let's see how good of a job it actually does. And as you can see, it's actually done a really good job on removing those sunglasses. I am really impressed with that. It has created a little bit of a monobrow right here, which is a bit of a problem. But to say the eyes, they actually look pretty normal. I mean, look at this. We have the original and the edited one. This is really crazy to see. We can also have a look at the other variations, such as this one, which actually this looks a lot better. The eyes are a little bit more relaxed and this one is not so great but I would say the first and second are definitely the best. And yeah, you can get some really crazy results with this. The next feature is that they've officially added the remove tool into Photoshop. So now you can easily remove any unwanted people or objects in the way of a photo. All you need to do is simply highlight the person or object you wanted to remove. And then this will use AI to remove that object or person that is in the way. And honestly, this is just so much better compared to the normal healing brush tool. Now this next feature, they have made life even easier for us just by adding this contextual taskbar right here. So it's officially added to Photoshop and now you can easily select the subject, remove a background. You can also do some other things such as the mask. Now this is honestly really cool because for beginners, it is so helpful just to be able to press this select subject and easily it will just detect the person that you want to select. And from here, you can also do things like the select the mask. You can control the feather selection, the contrast, all of your selection options. You can even mask this layer if you want to and so much more. This next improvement is the adjustments. What Adobe have done now is if you go into the adjustments, you can see they have neatly organized the adjustment presets. So if you wanted to browse through all of these presets and let's say you wanted something that is like very misty or dark or you wanted to completely change the environment, 
you can easily change it in here. You can also click on more and you can have a look through these other ones. Let's say you wanted this cinematic one where it's very x-ray looking or you wanted this really split tone. You can even create your own preset and apply it onto here. And the other improvement is the individual adjustments have been neatly organized into this listing right here. You can also swap on over to the normal original view by clicking on here. Completely up to you, whichever one you prefer. It just looks really neat and really well organized. And then finally, the very last improvement is the gradients. So similar to the previous update, you can now go into the gradients tool and you will have your different modes right at the top here. You can create a circular one, a normal one, a diamond one, or whichever one that you want. And this will all be done live. So for example, let's say that we wanted to create the circular one we would left click, hold shift, drag this out, and this will give us a live preview of what this is going to look like. We can also customize this and set it to, let's say, a screen, and we can also customize the actual gradient itself. So we're going to set one of them to a 0% for the opacity. You can then go ahead and press OK. Press OK again, and once again, if you want to adjust the size of it, you can edit it in here. You can also edit the distance between each and every one and also do some other things such as adjust this distance right here. So you can pretty much do this live now and get a good preview of what it's going to look like before you even apply the changes. You can change the type itself if you want to these other ones. And yeah, that is pretty much all the new features in Photoshop May update 2023. Let me know what your favorite feature is. And as always, I'll see you all in our next video. Bye.